That's all for today's sports action. Good morning, GC. I'm Madison Haley here with Madeline Brown to bring you today's news. The Graves County Academic Team won the District Drivers Cup Championship Saturday at GCHS. The Future Problem Solvers Team of Sarah Haley, Kendall Tubbs, Noah Saxon, Connor Burnett took first place. Naima Buddha placed first in the Language Arts and second in Arts and Humanities. Alice Baldwin took first in Arts and Humanities and second in Language Arts. Collar Thompson took first in math and fourth in science. Allison Pear won the composition category. Carly Frather took second place in composition and third in science. Jagger Blue t took second in social studies. The quick recall of the team of Alice Baldwin, Nama Buddha, Kendall Tubbs, Collar Thompson, Preston Schmidt, and Jonathan Woods also finished in second. Congratulations. You can buy tickets for the Sadie Hawkins dance during lunches. The prom committee will be hosting the dance at GCHS this Friday, January 31st from 7 to 9 p.m. Tickets will be $5 if purchased during lunches this week through the day of the dance. They will cost $10 at the door. Be on the lookout for more information. The bass fishing team will have a meeting tomorrow. That's coming up on Tuesday, January 28th at 3.30 in the GCMS Library. New and existing members are welcome to attend. Contact Ms. Hayes at the middle school with any questions. The last day to pre-order a yearbook is Friday, January 31st. Yearbooks are currently $70. See a yearbook staff member to pick up or get a copy of the form in the office for ordering. GCHS is offering free ACT workshops next week after school. All sessions begin at 3.15. Monday, February 3rd will be math with Mr. Blaylock in room Fidelia 06. Tuesday, February 4th will be reading with Ms. Cooper in room Fancy Farm 03. Wednesday, February 5th will be science with Mr. Pierce in room Sedalia 11. Thursday, February 6th will be English with Ms. Cooper in room Fancy Farm 03. The date for the mandatory soccer parent meeting has changed. That meeting has moved to February 18th. It will be at GCHS at 630. This meeting is for parents of Graves County 6th graders interested in playing for the middle school, parents of any GCMS students interested in playing and all parents of players in playing for GCHS varsity or junior varsity. Again, that mandatory meeting has moved to February 18th. Prom committee is selling Little Caesars frozen pizza kits. They have cookies too. See a, a prom committee member, Miss Milliken or Miss Tooth, to place your order. Applications for the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet Civil Engineering Scholarship and the Joey Fosco application are now available on the GC Guidance webpage. Both of those are due February 1st. That's this Saturday. During the break, Isaac Williams recaps the weekend sports action. And Caitlin Mays tells us why should we be watching the CW Supernatural. More than one-third of adults in the United States are obese. It affects one in six children in the United States. It is linked to more than 60 chronic diseases. Do you want to end up like this guy? Gerardo eats three times as much every day as the average person does. It increases the risk of diabetes and other health issues. 
If you don't want to become obese like Gerardo, talk to a personal trainer, a friend, try going to the gym, or call the Obesity Society today at 301-563-6526. Avoid obesity and other health problems today. Good morning, GC. I'm John Stanley here to bring you today's weather. Today, there will be a low of 30 with a high of 50, and it will be pretty clear outside. And tomorrow, there will be a low of 35 and a high of 43, and it will be kind of cloudy outside. And Wednesday, there will be a low of 31 and a high of 41, and it might be a little rainy outside. That's all for today's weather for GCTV. I'm John Stanley. What up, GC? Over the weekend, our Eagle basketball team wrapped up the Superman Classic against Cobden, Illinois. Our Eagles won 49 to 48. Seth Thomas left the game with 15 points. Also, over the weekend, our Lady Eagles traveled to Marshall County to play good pasture Christian. The Lady Eagles won 58 to 41. That's all for our Eagle Sports Action for GC TV. I'm Isaac Williams. Hey GC, I'm Kayla Mays and I'm here to talk about the TV show Supernatural. Supernatural is a show aired on the program CW. Many characters of the show have lasted a large amount of time even if killing them off didn't work. The writers of the show are famous for killing off characters and bringing them back to life multiple times. This show will have been on the air for a total of 15 years once the final airs on May 18, 2020. This will mean the show is as old as many of the kids are in the current freshman class. The main three stars of the show is Jensen Ackles as Dean Winchester, Jared Padalecki as Sam Winchester, and Misha Collins as Castillo, an angel from heaven. Throughout the show, Dean and Sam go through their lives by living by their family motto, saving people, hunting things, and family business. There are many different hybrids of supernatural creatures with varying weaknesses. One interesting thing about this show is some of the odd episodes they air. One example of this would be their Scooby-Doo themed episode. Scooby Natural in Season 13, Episode 6, dealt with Dean and Sam going to the Scooby-Doo universe and fighting a real monster. Another weird episode would be Season 6, Episode 15, The French Mistake. In this episode, Sam and Dean break through the fourth wall and have to live there as their actors in the real world. I would greatly recommend watching Supernatural if you need a show to binge. Supernatural can be found on the CW app or on Netflix. For GCTV, I'm Caitlin Mays. Grace County Baseball Annual Chili Supper is coming up on Friday, February 7th. That's the night of the Marshall County doubleheader in the Eagle's Nest. The meal will be start at 5 and the tickets will cost $5. You can buy them in advance from any baseball player at the door that night. Your ticket covers chili, hot dogs, sandwiches, desserts, and drinks. Buy a ticket and support Eagle's Baseball. That's all for today's news. For GCTV, I'm Madeline Brown. And I'm Madison Haley. Have a great day, GC. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.